Yo, um, so you you guys are not gonna believe what what just happened. So I was I was legit gonna go and um make a video on turtle breeding and getting turtles cute and whatnot. Yeah, right. It's called cute, by the way. So like you just call it cute. I googled it. I tried it on Google Translate it, and and the the robot lady said cute. So it's cute. Yeah. So, so okay. Anyway, um, so, so I just like wanted to make a video on how to breed turtles and whatnot, and I spawn here, like exactly here. So I just went on, made an eggs, got some seagrass and stuff like that, and just pressed the record button. And now I'm recording. So let's just show you guys how to do this thing. And yeah. Let's just do that. Okay, um, so I'm basically gonna be showing you how to breed turtles, how to make the turtle breeding farm and whatnot. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty simple thing. I'm not gonna be using any, um, any like pistons or any like redstone mechanics, no hoppers, no nothing, just straight up natural collection stuff, like it doesn't have to be automated, it's a pretty simple thing, so yeah. So first thing you want to do is find an island that has turtles in it. So this basically is the, these turtles home beach, right? So that basically means that these turtles are never going to leave this area, like they will keep coming back to it. If you want, to just collect some turtle eggs and hatch them here and, and make your farm in their own beach. Well, you can do that, but if you want the turtles to be on your own area, you will need um, something, something special. So, if you want to get the turtles to spawn in your area, you need to breed two of them. Two of these in their own beach. And then, once they hatch their eggs, you need to break their eggs with this, with this thing. This is a... Well, it doesn't have to be an axe, it can also be a pickaxe, I guess, but I always use axe for this type of thing. <clears throat> Sorry, and it has to have a silk touch enchantment, which basically means that it can break the turtle legs without destroying them. So once you do break the turtle legs, you will want to bring them to your own island and place them there and hatch them there. And they will remember that place when they ha where they hatch as their home beach and they will keep on returning to it. So it's pretty simple, right? So, right now, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So in order to breed two turtles, you will need some seagrass, right? And in order to get seagrass, you need to get some shears and dive into the water and cut some seagrass with shears. And that's pretty much it. Those, this is the seagrass, by the way. This thing here and this thing there and all of that is seagrass. So yeah, pretty, pretty easy to get actually. So once you're done with that, you just find two turtles like so. And then breed them and once you breed them they will um well they will do their thing you will get some xp and now and now one of these will lay eggs i'm just gonna remove this so they so i don't like you know take their attention okay so the thing did its thing and now when you do when we do that we can just surround this area and wait for these eggs to hatch. But if we don't want to get this island as our main island, we want to get these eggs ourselves. So you want to collect these and go to your own island. So I'm just going to go find a random island and just, you know, I'll just see you guys then. Okay. Okay. So, um, well, Let's say this is our, our beach that we want to, you know, place our turtles at, that we want to, you know, keep them at. So, um, once you've found a place where you want to, you know, hatch your turtles, you want to place those eggs. And I always place them, like, separately because I feel like they, it takes them, you know, they, they don't, um... Well, they, it, they spawn, they kind of hatch faster if they're, like, separated um i might be wrong don't quote me on that but i always do it like that because like no okay so now when you did that um you need to understand something everything every monster every hostile mobbing game will try to kill those eggs so you need to protect them with your dear life man 
So you gotta protect them. In order to protect them, I suggest you make a little thing like this. So let's just take some blocks, let's just take some fence. Um, we might actually need some stairs as well, whatever. Um, and just, you wanna surround this area. Like, surround this area completely. Like, well. I guess this will do it. Why not? And also, you need to, to add some, some fences to this. Definitely, fences always help with this. So nothing can jump over this place, bro. Nothing. Nothing jumps over this. Um, when you've done that, well, I guess you could do this. And, you know, just make an entrance for yourself. Also, ob obviously, you want to light this whole area up so, like, less monsters spawn here. So might as well do that too. I guess we can add some more at this on this island. You're getting you're getting the point. You need to to make this place safe for the little turtles in order for them not to die before they hatch. Um, once they hatch, you need to wait for them to grow up, and once they do grow up. Um, they will drop scutes, which you can actually use to make the thing that you want. You can also make the potion of the turtle master with the scutes, but um, the main use is obviously for the helmet. And yeah, um, I wanted to mention something else. You need to keep in mind that you can't step on these. You you should never step on these. So um, but if you step on these, they're gonna get they're gonna crack, bro. Um, I guess you could add some. Some water because they they like chilling in the water and um someone said that they actually need some water in order to like grow up and that's like the reason why they go in the ocean in the first place but i don't think that's the case the case but yeah let's just have some water here whatever and okay now when you've done this you make sure you want to have like the whole air area like bordered up because you don't want the turtles to get away if they get away there's a chance for them to grow up and actually um, drop their scutes somewhere else and you're just gonna run out of scutes. Um, so, I mean, you're not gonna get them, simple, simple as that. So, like, once these bad boys hatch, you wanna, like, you know, make them breed so they can spawn more eggs and more eggs and more eggs. And once, eventually, you're gonna have yourself a pretty huge farm that will, um, well... That will, you know, get you enough amount of scutes at one point. So, um, you gotta keep in mind that these only spawn at night. That these only hatch at night. I'm not sure. Somebody says somebody said it takes like three nights. Somebody said four nights. Someone said ten Minecraft days, which I don't think it's the case. But I think it's somewhere between three and four nights that they hatch. So, um, yeah. I mean, you can also use the random tick speed to do that, but. I don't suggest you doing that because there's no reason for it, honestly. Also, um, when those hatch, um, you can feed them seagrass so they can grow faster. Okay, well, I'm, I'm actually just going to show you how to make them hatch real quick and then, you know, I mean, I'm going to show how to speed up. So, let's go, let's go, um, what the hell do I want to do? Oh, yeah. Let's just do 50k, dude, whatever. Oh wait, typo. See that thing is cracking. It's cracked already, right? And this one is cracking and it's not gonna, I, I don't think it's gonna hatch until the night comes, but don't quote me on that because I just messed up the random tick speed, but let's just wait for, for these because they're not fully cracked yet. Come on. Heck. Um, they're... Oh, are they or are they not? They're not as cracked as this one. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's just wait. Uh, let's just like get the, uh, the tick speed back to normal. So it's, the normal tick speed is 3, by the way, in Java. So, yeah. Okay, let, let's switch to nighttime now.
and this bad boy will hatch this night definitely. So yeah, they for some reason they need the night time to hatch. I'm not sure why, but just how it is. So let's just chill a little bit until this bad boy hatches, and that's it. Okay, so um, so this is taking quite a bit of time. I'm actually gonna raise the tick speed back again so I can show you guys what what's gonna what hap what happens next so I can complete the tutorial. I mean, it's a pretty simple thing, but still, let me just um, let's do this again so we can reset an item and um, let's go. Let's do 60k, whatever, um, so I can show you what happens. Okay, as you can see, one little thingy hatched. Um, let's just wait for the second one as well, and then and then I'm I'm gonna return to normal. Um, they also only spawn on sand, so you need to place them in the sand, and uh, like they will not hatch if you don't place them in the sand. Change it to 100, 100k. We need this thing faster. Okay, nice. Let's return to two to three. Okay, as you can see, they they always run to water. Like they can't run away, so they will always be super near the water. Um, in order to for them to um, you know, to grow up faster, you need to feed them seaweed. So yeah, you, let's just feed this guy a bunch of seaweed, and it's gonna definitely raise. I mean, speed up his growth time, definitely, so let's just do that. I'm not sure to what amount you can do that, actually, but, um... It definitely helps. Okay, as you can see, it just popped up. It helped, so it just grew up. And it dropped this cute. Let's grow, grow this one up as well, and then, you know, just to show the final part of the thing, but yeah. I think that's gonna be enough. No reason to keep it up, but we can. Not sure to what amount you can actually do it, as I said, but yeah, as you can see, it grows up and it drops cute. We can pick up that skewed. I mean, we definitely should. And then if we don't have enough skewed to, you know, make our helmet, we just breed the two of those that are, like, in here, that are closed up still, and they will make babies, and, and you will get infinite amount of eggs, basically. Um, so... It's really important to not break any of the walls so they can actually stay inside and so you can breed more eggs, right? So you can make more eggs, so you can hatch more eggs or whatever. Um, you don't... What was that, bro? Oh, those are the drown probably, but that sound was scary, man. Anyway, um, one of these bad boys is gonna hatch more eggs and once they do... You need to wait for those eggs to hatch and just repeat the process until you have enough skewts and it's simple as that. So I'm pretty sure I covered everything in this video. You know, so you, no need for redstone pickups, no need to, for anything. You just might manually go in and pick these bad boys up and you're good. So I I am pretty sure that I explained everything that I had to explain. Um, If I missed something, I'm really sorry. You can ask me in the comments down below, but this sums it up pretty much. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel, make sure to leave a like or maybe a comment or share the video with your friends. Also follow me on Twitter and Twitch because I'm streaming super often right now. Also join my Discord, like all the links will be in the description and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, Nico loves you and wishes you to a wonderful rest of your day and see these guys just making mess and hatching the eggs. <laughs> and yeah, um, Nico's out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. So, bye-bye.